everyone to the live Q&A webinar. My name is Daniel and I will be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, I would like us to go through a quick sound check to make sure that the sound is in a proper level. And of course, that the screen is visible for everyone. Okay, and in the meantime, I will explain what will happen in the webinar in each and every step and then we can officially begin. Okay, so the first part will be, this is the agenda, the first part will be the previous questions that we received from our team. Um, that means that there are common questions that are gathered. We're going to go through them and try our best to uh, come up with the best answers. Uh, dynamic questions is the true purpose of the webinar. Um, basically, you can ask whatever you want in any given point regarding any subject regarding trading or the facility or the services. And again, I'll do my best to come up with the best answer that I can. Um, the third part is a little more informative. So we'll have uh, links and information and the, the privileges that you can receive. And lastly, analysis, if we'll get the time. So uh, we'll cover analysis only if the if the questions that we receive are not going to be involved with analysis. Otherwise, there's no point uh, to go through that again. Okay, because, because the, the purpose is to give you as much as content as, as possible and to assist you with, uh, obviously, with the answers, as it's called, live questions and answers. Okay, now it's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar are provided for informative purposes only. It should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice, a recommendation, or a suggestion. Guys, this webinar is recorded. That means that from A to Z, you will be able to enjoy the webinar later on in, uh, on our channel. Okay, typically it takes, well, I, I don't want to make any commitments. Could be today, tomorrow, usually up to two days. That's the casual time. I'm just going to make sure that the webinar is recorded as it's supposed to be. Then I'll be back and we will begin. So I'll be right back. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Everything seems okay. So we're just going to hit the road. Uh, like I said, my name is Danny. Feel free to ask whatever you want this is the, the the purpose that we initiated this webinar is to let you guys uh so I'll, we will have more time to elaborate about questions that we can't during other webinars okay so feel free to take the stage to ask whatever you want uh, it's a great opportunity okay let's see the webinars uh, the questions that we received okay is it possible to have automated trading with avatrade that's a good question. How to find the best asset to trade? Okay, that, that question is uh, too universal. I'm not even going to uh, try and give a definite answer to that because there is no best asset, as we know from other... Uh, n never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll give on a nutshell maybe about... Uh, how can you pick an asset, but there is no best asset. Okay. How can I improve my fundamental analysis? That's easy and very interesting. Are there any fees for deposits or withdrawals? Maybe deposits and withdrawals. Okay. Or withdrawals or, well, um, there are no fees. There are no fees beside the bank fees that can be charged but Ava trade is not charging any fee not as far as I'm concerned okay what is the recommended balance to work with intermediate level it depends on the strategy right okay let's try let, let, let's one by one we can slowly uh Make progress. Okay. Is it possible to get a connection to your system when on a demo account trading? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, Mr. Uh, Timbella, but I'm going to put your question where it belongs. Oh, for some reason I can't post it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have that just after we are done with the uh, with the primary questions okay is it possible we already pasted it right here is it possible okay 
So how can I automate my training? Let's suppose that I'm an extremely busy person. I have a lot, a lot of projects and things to do, and I don't want to sit down and trade on my own. I want to, to happen automatically. Anybody has any idea how is it possible and if it's possible? Okay, in the meantime, just going to explain about uh, what we're looking at right now because it might be different for some people who are trading with MT4 and MT5. This is uh, called a web trader, okay? And to enjoy that, you don't have to download or install anything. Just log in with your email and password. You should end up here. Uh, although if it looks different, you can contact the customer service. Well, you're not going to be able to do it through here if it's not through this interface. You can just send them an email, okay, to cs at avatray.com, and you, you should be uh, able to see that. Tambella, you say that you got a message that say no connection when I try to place a trade on M of a go. Well, try um, to check your internet connection. I'm just guessing here. I'm not really a big uh, technical uh, genius. Just go to your account manager, send him a screenshot, and he can find what the problem is. It's it's a bit difficult to to do that from uh, <laughs> from where I am right now, <laughs> because uh, every case can have you know multiple uh, obstacles. We gotta know what the obstacle is. If it's the internet connection, if it's something else, if it's something with the account, we gotta know. Okay, is it possible to have automated trading with AvaTrade? The answer is yes. Okay, there are variations. The first one is of a social. Ava Social lets you follow and copy other traders. Okay, and by copying somebody, well, I don't want to write down the whole thing, but to be honest, you can follow and copy somebody on Ava Social. And naturally, if you're copying somebody, you're copying him automatically. So you can follow. get uh, his strategy information. Maybe, uh, how can I explain it? You get the, um, the, the positions that it took. So you get the information about the position, get information about the followed trailer position and to copy that means now the way that it works is extremely simple just gonna go on the list who is my account manager um i honestly i, I don't know timbella you gotta go to the live chat you gotta ask on the live chat hi i've seen on the webinar somebody said to me that i can contact my account manager to assist me with my account who is my account manager they're gonna address your account manager they're gonna ask him to contact you um and yeah or you can just let me see here we have one of the questions ne never mind never mind look it's extremely simple just go to the live chat ask you you want your account manager to contact you and it should happen uh usually it's a matter of hours okay maybe less okay so follow you get information about the followed uh, traders position positions and when you copy it's automated X Q uh, well how can I how can I put it this way copy is just automated trading just copy the followed traders strategy with exact execution the only thing is though if you have a different balance than the the person that you're following so obviously don't expect to get the same results uh so you got you gotta make sure to prior uh the, the to to customize the pro, the proportions in a way that makes sense so you won't end up following somebody with a much considerable amount than yourself and then you accident you you can accidentally wipe out the account so um 
those are the adjustments. Okay, overall, I recommend to first follow and then copy. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can just copy somebody who looks nice, but I would prefer, uh, you know, if, if it would have been up to me to follow somebody and to see how it goes and only then after I see a day or two that it works. So uh, to go ahead and copy perhaps. The second solution is called dupli trade. Dupli trade is a strategy provider. And that means that what they do is they automate the trading. Link your account to uh, another trader's account. That's basically what's happening. That's also what's happening with our social, by the way. Okay, that that's how it it's that's how it's done, right? Automated trading, right? When you copy somebody, it just launches the the same things that your uh, your person is doing, your trader is doing. It does everything by itself. You don't have to do anything. Uh, dupli trade. So dupli trade. I almost forgot to mention both cases when you automate your trading there is a tiny uh, I don't want to call it commission there is a tiny commission there is a tiny commission in every trade it's not something that you uh, that that will uh, that, that has significant impact but it's something that is there so just know that it's there uh, what else yeah the Basically, automated trading, as you as as you all know, it's not a permanent solution unless you caught somebody who you can really uh, you know follow. And, and sometimes there are adjustments. Sometimes you want to test thing, things out and not just to uh, rely on it purely. So it's also good to know by yourself a little bit how to trade and not just to follow somebody blindly. And then uh, you don't learn anything on the way. Okay, this is why if you follow somebody and you first see what he's doing and only then you're copying, so at least you understand what's happening. If you just follow somebody for the money, uh, you, perhaps you'll make a lot of profits, but eventually you'll not, you're, you're, you're not going to learn uh, fr from that, okay, unless you're going to analyze everything that he's done. Okay, never mind. I, wanna, I don't want to delay about it too much. We basically have Ava Social, we have Dupli Trade, and we have other solutions, other third-party companies. Okay, that provides. Um, well, I, I again, I, I don't want to get into that too much, but there are other third-party companies um, that also offer automated trading. Um, the only thing that comes from AvaTrade officially is the Ava Social. All the rest, all the uh, solutions are third-party companies, okay? So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put that underneath. We're also going to get the other one. And we're going to place it under that guy over here something isn't working okay there we go right oh something oh, there we go i didn't understand why we have two a and two b's let's try and somehow save the space right yeah so uh, both of a social and uh, dupli trade offers the automated solution. We also have Zulu trade and some other things, but again, I don't want to delay about it too much. How can I find the best asset to trade? That just doesn't exist. You know how many times I tried to answer this question. The best asset can be any asset. Any asset is the best asset. So what makes the difference if an asset is good or not? If I want to trade uh, if I want to trade Nasdaq and I want to trade Apple, what is the best, Apple or Nasdaq? Because I can make, look, I want to show you that.
Okay, so logically, just before we we officially uh, dive into the calculations and everything, so uh, just on a nutshell, I have one unit of Nasdaq. I have one share of Nasdaq. Nasdaq is a mine part of the indices. We have an umbrella that is called Nasdaq. We have a, a bigger umbrella that is called indices. Okay, underneath you're gonna find Dow Jones, FTSE, DAX, and so on. Uh, and Nasdaq by itself is also an umbrella. You're gonna find Amazon and Apple, and uh, perhaps I think Tesla is also there. Okay, now the way that this works is I'm gonna show you what's the potential profit by simply taking one unit over because I'm with a buy, so my ambition is that price will increase. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the 8 here to 9, which makes it instead of 15,851, that becomes 15,951. That's $100 away. And because I have uh, one unit, right, I have one share, I'm going to make 100. If I would have had, let's say, 10 units, I could have made 1,000, right? I'll take 10 and I only move it by, let's say, uh, I'm not changing the the hundreds, I'm changing the tens. Let's make it 900 as an example. So I'm gonna make 50 quid instead of 100. Anyway, the, the point is one unit versus whatever price difference I have uh, gets me the, the summary here and it works vice versa. So if I'll change it from eight to seven as an example, I'm just going to lose 100, right? And same apply with the principle. If I'll change it, if I'll reduce it just by uh, less than that, okay, by 50 as an example. So uh, my potential my potential loss changes accordingly. Just a second, guys. I have to sip something. Sorry guys, uh, sometimes I have to get some, uh, uh, otherwise my voice disappears after I speak so much. So, as I was explaining, this is Nasdaq, this is one share, and what I showed is the difference between the price that we have right now versus the price that we're aiming for. So hypothetically, if my target price is 15,900, which, uh, which will be, which will be approximately here somewhere, because it's messing around with us. Just gonna little uh, uh, gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna place it right here. Okay, you see fifty-five dollars, and with the loss, it works exactly the same way. So fifteen seven eight eight. Yeah, somewhere here. Okay. Um. Now. As I was expl uh, explaining in, in a, a minute ago, right? We're gonna get the question. We're gonna do it professionally. Although, again, there is no best asset, but still. Okay, so let's suppose that I'm looking at Nasdaq. I can make fifty dollars with Nasdaq. That's gonna cost me. Is there a question about margin here? Not really, right? Oh, th this this one perhaps. The recommended balance. Okay, never mind, never mind. We'll let it be for now. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm just gonna explain it to you on the way. There is something called the margin impact. Basically, the value that we have right now, the 15,841 uh, is what one share costs right now with a buy. This is what it costs with a sell. The idea here is very simple. If I'm taking one share, I should have had $15,000 in my account. But because I am leveraged, that means that I multiplied. My buying and selling power is multiplied. That means that 1 to 20, my balance will behave. So hypothetically, it's is a, 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 as if I had 200000 Okay, It's not entirely true but I, because I still need to have some margin to open the position in the first place and some margin to sustain it. But overall, this is the cost. Okay, this is the price and this is the cost. <clears throat> if, for instance, I had 10 units, the cost would have been multiplied by 10. 
if I had one lot, it would have multiplied by 100 and uh, 20, uh, sorry. And if it would have been 20, so by 20. Anyway, the idea here is simple. We always take the value, we multiply that by the units, and we get the value. Oh, sorry, we get the price. Yeah, we multiply the price by the units, we get the value. Extremely simple. Now, the next step is that we can divide a value by the leverage because we said that we are multiplied. Because we are multiplied by 20, it makes sense to just divide a value by whatever leverage I have, right? So thanks to the leverage, instead of 15,000, I just need 15 divided by 20 is 800. So basically, the scenario that we have here, which is extremely simple, is if it gets from here to here, I can make $59. And the cost, allegedly the cost, is not really cost, but it's something that I'm using from my account that I need to have this collateral, this uh, margin impact. So supposedly it cost $800. I'm going to get it back when I close the position, though. If I make profit, so my margin will be freed up. It will be available again. This is a free margin. You have free margin and you have uh, you have uh, uh, the used margin. Okay, looks a bit different on MT4, but the principle stays the same. Um, and in this scenario, like I said, we supposed to have 800, not 15 in the favor to make 15, uh, 50, almost $60. Okay, let's compare it with gold. See how much we need for gold. Just gonna type here in the search field gold and click it from the list, then I will expand. Uh, we're gonna try the same exercise. We're gonna take one unit. We're gonna look at $50 away. $50 away is somewhere here, right? And $50 down is somewhere at the bottom, somewhere here, maybe a little higher. Yeah, so again, super simple, one unit, you see, from the price that we are at right now, towards the 2100 line, it's a bit lower than that, it's 20 to, uh, 2081. We're gonna launch the uh, take profit. Oh, I, I forgot to, because for me it's so natural, but the take profit, what, what I've used, the box that I'm marking is actually the pending order that I'm using to collect my profits automatically. Take profit, exactly as it sounds, it's quite self-explanatory. It takes the profit. It closes the position automatically with the profit. Stop loss does the same thing to the other side. So if your position gets um, go, goes negative, right? We took a sell and it goes down against you. So for every dollar that I go against you and you are with a single share, you're going to lose a dollar. Okay, if you're with a single share, it went down five, you're going to lose five. If it went down 10, you're going to lose 10. Now, in our case, we've moved it $50 down. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the potential loss is 50 because we are with one. If we would have been with 10, so it would have been 500. If we would have been with 20, it would have been a, a, a thousand. Okay, very nice. Now, let's make it tw uh, 50 like it was with NASDAQ. And let's look at this nice comparison here. How much... Uh, maybe I can show it to you with uh, two two assets at the same time. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not sure it's gonna let me see this interface though. But I, but I'll have to try. Okay, let's try. Yeah, but it's it. The problem is that it cleans the it cleans the the printing order that that I've placed to show you. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Look, what I want you to see is something very simple. You see, the cost for one unit here is 800. The cost for one unit here is only, oh, just a second, is only 100. And if I can make the same amount in comparison of 
budget. Oh, what happened? Uh, and then I can choose, maybe I can get rid of this for the time being. I don't want it to confuse anyone. And then I can make this comparison. Okay, I'm using here a uh, quarter, a mar more, more than eight, eight of the margin that I'm supposed to use with NASDAQ. Does this makes me, uh, th th does this make gold the best asset? No, it just makes it better than uh, NASDAQ if I compare the margin usage versus the amount I'm trying to make. But keep in mind something, the bigger the asset, usually the tendency for that to move more uh, dollars. I can't expect silver, let me just show you, okay? There is an indicate. oh no, ne never mind, never mind. I feel like, I feel like I took this question and I, I took it a little too far. Let's just put here the answer. Because I have other questions, otherwise I would have explained about it. Uh, how to find the best asset? All assets are the best. I know, I know that those answers uh, can can drive you crazy, but they are also this question. I mean, the best asset. All the assets are great. Why an asset? Uh, why why would I think about an asset that is not the best, right? Okay, all the assets are the best. To make the comparison, um, I don't want to put it this way. Basically, to pick your asset, you can um, you can calculate the margin. You can analyze, and you can also analyze it fundamentally. So, to pick a suitable asset. Um, maybe I'll put it at the presentation itself. An asset can be defined by few few criteria. Margin usage. Um, volatility, obviously, analysis, and fundamentals. As long, as long as your asset fulfills those things, it has the margin that you wanted, it has the volatility that you're expecting, the analysis that you ha you've done makes sense. You don't see just gaps and and uh, uh, confusing candles. You see something you understand. Right? As an example, like here, you don't have to be a genius. You see that it's bullish. Right? Okay. Presently, it's not really bullish, but I mean, overall, we can see that it was quite interesting for a while since beginning of the month till the uh, towards the end of the month. Okay. As long as your asset is doing those things, it lets you. Uh, you, you you can, like I said, you have enough margin, the volatility, the analysis and the fundamentals, they all make sense. Then the rest is all about a strategy. Okay, it's all about a strategy. Uh, you can also make money with, uh, uh, with corn and with, you know, not, not necessarily with the famous things. You can also make money, you can make money with everything. The question is how you do it. How are you, you how are you you you're using it uh, wisely and you utilize your funds right okay Mohammed how do you make a trade for different time frames and okay this is an excellent question we're gonna take your questions here and put it right next to uh, maybe under the uh, this question okay thank you uh thank you Mohammed. Okay. 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 So th there is the uh, all the assets are the best. Can I improve my fundamental analysis? This might take us a couple of minutes. What is the recommended balance? Okay. This is also an interesting one. So guys, wh why don't you help me out and uh, give me a piece of advice here? What is the recommended balance to work with intermediate level?
Okay, let, let me try it otherwise, okay? What is preferred? Balance off. Or more. Or more. This is again intermediate, right? What do you recommend? Let's suppose you have a friend. This friend is trading for a while now, a year or two. He's been successful, no problem. Now, what do you recommend for him to to what, what balance do you recommend? A hundred, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, or twenty thousand. What do you think, or more? This is actually a very simple question. I mean, w w what would you recommend? Would you recommend a hundred? You recommend ten thousand? What would you recommend? That depends on the goal. That's very right, Philip. Thank you. Okay, very true. So, Philip, you, you say it depends on the goals, but what in general, what can be the balance that you would recommend your friend is an example. Depends on the budget. Okay, okay, I understand. So, Philip, you're you're saying that it depends on the uh, on the goals. Okay, and Matthew here, you're saying that it dep uh, depends on the budget. Okay, so we have for one side the budget. So let's suppose my budget is, uh, you know what? Let's suppose I have a few millions. I can put, you know, I have some spare cash. I can. What do you recommend? Would you recommend me to go with a million or with twenty thousand or more? You gotta check what you need. What what, what do you mean, Max? You gotta check what you need. Please explain. Who needs who needs what? What's the balance? To make sure the money that is required for your strategy. Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, answer. Thank you. Didn't expect that. So, uh, so what you're saying is, let me. There are a few few answers here, but what makes sense is what Max wrote here that. You got to check what is needed for your strategy. So you remember that I showed you in the beginning that uh, I needed for NASDAQ, as an example, we needed uh, 800, right? So let's suppose that I'm not intermediate. Let's suppose that I'm advanced, okay? Let's suppose I've been trading for a few years now and whatnot. Okay, would you recommend me to go with and my strategy is based on nasdaq right would you recommend me to go with a hundred is it is it enough for uh, to open the position with a hundred here no okay let's carry on let's eliminate this guy is it enough a thousand is it enough to open this position no it's enough it's enough it's enough we can see here we can see that this is the margin impact this is what's required and with a thousand is enough to open the position. Is it enough for a strategy though? Is it enough for diversification to add more positions and to maneuver comfortably to sustain the positions? What do you think? Could be also. Oh, okay, okay, could be. Okay. So let's say if I want to go safe, if I want to go cautious, what do you think? I want to trade NASDAQ. Is this enough? The thousand was enough as well. The thousand was enough as well. Don't get me wrong. It's enough to open the position. But is it recommended to trade with? Is it enough to comfortably diverse? Not necessarily, right? Not necessarily. If I take two positions, I'm already at the... I've already exceeded my balance. So we understand something very important, guys that it doesn't really i mean it does matter if you're a beginner or advanced or intermediate but 
At the end of the day, margin is margin. You have your, your requirement. You have your strategy. So if your strategy is on NASDAQ and you know that you're going to trade things like indices and you're going you're gonna to use, you're going to move a lot of margin, okay, and you're planning on doing it with 100 or 200 or 500, don't be surprised if you, if you don't get to four, right? Because we want to have this a valuable margin to do things. Always we want to have a little bit more than what exactly we need, okay? Because as much as we can gain, it will always work to the other side as well. So I'm going to put the answer here. The recommended amount is not based on the level, maybe not entirely. Let me put it on the presentation. Because uh, it, does, it does make a difference if somebody is, uh, is a beginner or not. But I can put, I can say the recommended amount is not based um, completely on the level of the trader. It's based on the assets strategy and exposure level specified in the trading plan okay like i said if i if i want to play nas if i want to trade nasdaq and i would 100 i'm not even going to be able to take this position so okay let's see what else we have here i think we're done right oh we still have this one we still have this one but before i'm answering this one because i've promised the two guys at the bottom that i'll uh, we're going to look at their questions. How is it possible to... Mm, but this one is more technical. Uh, dear uh, Mohammed gave us this wonderful question. How do you make a trade for different time frames? Okay. Let's take your question, sir. And we're going to paste it right here smoothly. But because we've looked at NASDAQ and we've looked at... Uh, gold, we're going to look at something else like wheat as an example. Ooh, wheat has been look at that. Look at that. You see what I you see what I what I spoke about just a minute ago. But I said you got to find an asset that when you analyze it, it doesn't make you suffer, just very visible. Is this a visible trend, guys? Is this is this a visible trend? Anybody has any doubt where a wheat is heading? Well, presently, everything can change in a matter of you you blink you blink and it changes. <laughs> but currently, currently, according to what we see, what do you think? Wheat is bullish or bearish? Who thinks that wheat is bullish? It can change any minute, but presently and for the past two weeks, let me just change it to weeks, right? For the past two weeks, what do you see here? Wheat has been climbing since 5.51 to 6. Let's see if it reached the $100 mark. Yeah, very close to it, very close to it. So wheat accomplished $100 value change uh price difference in in two weeks quite remarkable okay so we have uh mr lots good to see you i think i saw you yesterday on my webinar so according to uh to mr lots here gregor uh we are having a bullish who else who uh, let me just elaborate maybe people don't know bullish meaning uh going up right like the same as a bull lift his op uh, opponent to the air and a bear slammed it to the ground. So bull means up and bear means down. And as we can see here, wheat is pretty, pretty bullish. Now, if I'm looking at wheat, 
and i'm looking at the question uh, to make a trade okay for four hours in one day now let's suppose that i'm analyzing daily okay i'm analyzing daily and right now i have absolutely no idea okay let, before i'll tell you i'll tell you the answer well not the answer the the analysis uh yeah i want you to look at this guy right it reached higher level much higher level as you can see here right it reached almost 651 and then it turned around okay can you see what happened here with similar behavior let me just put a rectangle after this and then perhaps perhaps that can assist us with uh with, with understanding what happened here right nope didn't really how come this one is larger than oh maybe i should have kept it this way there we go still oh, there we go okay uh what about the volume of trading yeah that's extremely important as well volume of trading is important as well but right now we're looking at muhammad's question i just want to give him an answer and then we carry on uh can you guys see what happened after the market couldn't carry on up same here can you see that just a second i want to capture that for you guys there we go it's not exactly the same yeah it's not exactly the same but can you see what happened when was the last time that it's been bullish and such high pace can you see what happened twice okay so what can we suspect that will happen here as well it might carry on up though but if it doesn't what can we suspect that can happen plunge right it can fall down now if i'm looking at the overview i want to compose a position what was he in the example oh hours four hours and day okay so four hours and day if i'm looking at the four hours things looks relatively uh, i don't want to say consistent but they look pretty much well there's no other way to actually describe it but it's it seems like it's it's still trending right quite comfortably what is the range that we have here though let me just show you we have two guidelines we have support and resistance resistance will be my higher edge point support will be my lower edge point so if this would have been my room as an example i'm going to take another racket angle okay so we have the ceiling and we have the bottom we have the ground we have the floor here so we're looking at kind of a nice um i don't want to if, if if i want to start explaining about consolidation no no i don't want to do that i don't want to do that we don't have time for that just on a nutshell on the difference between different time frames so let's suppose that i want to trade four hours i'm looking at this candle this nice candle that we're having uh, having here is the only one bearish since the past uh, since yesterday i forgot to change the crosshair one more thing guys before we proceed maybe i should have done it in the beginning but it doesn't really make a lot of difference you see here that you can change from no crosshair to crosshair and then when you move it you have this nice cross that lets you estimate the levels I work with horizontal and vertical line, but still you can maneuver with it and you can see the details on the candles. Okay, now when I'm looking at the chart, it seems like this is the lonely bearish candle that we have here, bullish, 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 and then uh, bearish, similar here, similar here, similar here, and so on and so on. And I'm not planning to trade this position for more than four hours at the max right i'm not planning to hold it for a week i'm not planning to hold it for a month i just wanted to keep it for a few hours okay now i want you to look at the chart here and i want you to tell me is this a good place to sell or buy or not to sell and not to buy what do you think should i sell 
buy or neither? What do you think? Neither is also an answer. So tell me, what, what do you think right now? Oh, sorry. What do you think that that's the best thing to do right now? To sell, okay, to sell. Let's suppose that we sell. Okay, if I sell, where will be my take profit approximately? Here, right? Somewhere here, maybe. I could go lower, I could go a little higher, but at the end of the day, it makes sense because we have, like I said, support here at the bottom, which could be my white line as an example. That can be my support, and this can be my resistance. Okay, as an example. So if I'm selling here, it makes sense. Otherwise, I can buy and hope it will carry on up, or I can wait and buy here. Okay, and if I'm trading daily, if I'm trading daily, daily might be a little more complicated to estimate because the last time that it's been higher than that was not a, a day ago. And usually I go by the statistics. As you can see, the last time that it's been higher than that was in August. That was, that was four months ago. So I have no approximation how long it, it take it to go up. But this comparison between hours to days, it's not such a big change. You, you can still use this, technica, uh, this uh, technique of support and resistance to estimate your, uh, your position approximation, okay? Obviously, if I'm planning a wheat to get to here in a day could be far-fetched. But if I'm planning it to get to a similar value of what it's been yesterday, okay, presently I'm looking at the average per day. I've added something called average true range. Average true range grasped the, the past 14 days and it's giving me now the average for days. And that, that leads me to believe that 12.8 is my approximate movement per day, is my average movement per day. So I can take a position and I can put the take profit $12 away. There are ways to do that. There are ways to do that. But I presently I have no no grip on what's happening with uh, with with uh, with the resistance. So I I don't know. As you can see here, it tried multiple times to go any higher, but it flinched down. It seems like the sellers are giving it hard time. You see what happened here? It went all the way up, but it ended. Okay, never mind. Uh, you can make this comparison with any asset. Just look for the support and resistance. You're going to find it in each and every time frame. Different levels, but, uh, but they're not necessarily entirely different, but they're going to be different, like I said. If my resistance here is somewhere around here, and I'll change to weeks, it's already much different, right? Here to here, it's different. Never mind. Okay, I hope that it, that it could help you, Mohammed, what I said to answer your question. Uh, I have to go back to the original question that we received, otherwise, and uh, this five questions wouldn't be fulfilled. Uh, how can I improve my technical analysis? But first, before I do that, I have to send you guys the links. I have to share with you those links because I have a feeling it can save you a lot of time. Okay. Gonna send with you some links here. This is for the real account. We have one for the academy. Okay, okay, that's good. So now we can finally address the last question about fundamentals, and we can see as an example how we can use a what what we can use to improve our fundamental analysis. 
Obviously, the first thing that I'm going to look at is the calendar, but maybe there is something here that, that can be interesting for us presently. Okay. What day is it today? I think tomorrow we have the, the NFP. Let me check it. Right, so the, um, the calendar is right here, guys. I didn't go anywhere special. Just went all the way to the left, and then I went down to the globe icon, then economic calendar, and it's right here. Uh, now, yeah, you see the, the, um, the NFP, right? I, I, it skipped my mind. I, I call, I used to call it NFP and non, non farming payroll. It's the same thing, to be honest. Now I click it. That's going to show me that the non farming payroll is an employment report released monthly. Usually the first Friday of the month didn't happen this month because it was a week ago. But never mind and heavily affect the US dollar, the bond market, and the stock market. Oh, this is this is another this is uh what was the question about the best asset, right? There was a question here about the best asset. Guys, you, you realize that by doing fundamental analysis, you also help yourself pick an asset to trade. Let's read. What it was, I just read about it now. Oh, there we go. You see, it's telling us, it's telling us that the NFP heavily affect the US dollar. So if I like to trade currencies or I like to trade indices or to be honest, everything's related to the dollar, I can, exp I can expect the NFP to shake the market, right? And it's scheduled, it's scheduled and I have already have 75% of the analysis. I've already have the last, you know what, let me try and bring it up for you guys to be at the top. There we go. You see, that's, it's still not at the top, but I guess you can see, this is the last time, uh, last, uh, Last result that we had, right? This is the forecast. This is what we expect. We expect a growth of approximately 5%, right? Oh, sorry, much less than that. Much less than that. If if 10 is a if 10 is 15, yeah, somewhere like that. Maybe a little less than that. Never mind. Never mind. So we're expecting a growth of between a, approximately 10,000. Now, the actual is what will happen. As you can see, what happens is uh, you see there is the actual, what happens, and then the following months, it becomes the previous. Okay? So if I follow everything that is here, this is the difference. You see what's written here? Uh, 187. Revised from 187, uh, 297, revised from uh, 336. 150 will be revised from the 150. Never mind, never mind. So the idea is what will happen if the actual will be higher, if the result will be more employment. We now have more people uh, working and paying taxes, driving the economy. What will happen with the dollar? If we find that the forecast was... Uh, you know what, Let, let's say that the forecast was almost the same. We It was 160, we got 160, perfect. What do you think that will happen with the dollar? Will it go up or down? Not sure, okay. You, you don't have to be sure, guys. I'm just asking here, just asking. Okay, Rajan, thank you. So you think that the market will go up? So if the positive, if there is a positive, positive uh, um, actual, if the actual is higher than the previous, that means that there is an improvement from 150 to 160. Excellent. If it goes higher than the before, than before, that means that instead of 160, we get 155. Still an improvement, right? But 
it's lower than the the forecast. So we we can't be too sure about that. Okay, what about if it comes lower than the previous and lower than the forecast? That means let's say 140 as an example. If the forecast is 160, let's say that we receive 140. What do you think? The market will go up or down? The dollar will go up or down? Possibly down. Now, it's not only the US dollar that's going to get affected from the dollar, uh, from the NFP. Everything versus the dollar, because currency pairs are currency versus another currency's value, right? How does it look? Uh, just a second, I'll find you guys here a nice pair to look at. Let's go with the measures. Okay, you see everything that's that that is aligned uh, versus the U.S. dollar. We can trade. We can trade. Why? Because the 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 dollar is moving, so obviously things that are against the dollar can be affected as well, right? So due to a fundamental analysis, it could be extremely helpful. It can indicate a lot of things. And you also have the signals. Oh, it's a shame we didn't speak about it. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It, it doesn't have to be a, it doesn't have to be every webinar. Okay, then so guys, it seems like our time is up. I hope that everybody got their answers to their satisfaction. Um, I'm sorry some of the questions I couldn't give a definite answer because as you know, and uh, we're trying to be as transparent as possible, um, such as this question is an example. I truly believe that all the assets are really great. Okay, that depends how you utilize it with your strategy. Okay, uh, guys, like I said, it's been a pleasure. I'm gonna send you, a, it's right here at the bottom. I'm gonna send you now the special promotion code with the like you and I benefit to get your own one-on-one -on -one pure, uh, premium market review. And uh, that's it. I would like to. This is this is a code, by the way. You're gonna give to your senior account manager to give you, like I said, a one-on-one -on -one premium market review. And uh, that's it. I wish you all best of luck. Make a lot of profits and have a good day.